Good morning. Please remain standing for the Lord's Prayer, followed by the Buddhist Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Happiness cannot be found through great effort and willpower, but it is already present in open relaxation and letting go. Don't strain yourself. There is nothing to do or undo. Whatever momentarily arises in the body-mind has no real importance at all. Far better to simply let the entire game happen on its own, springing up, up and falling back like waves without changing or manipulating anything. Everything vanishes and reappears magically again and again, time without end. Although peace and happiness do not exist as an actual thing or place, it is always available and accompanies you every instant. Member statements. Member from Sarnia Lambton. Speaker, on April 8, 2007, Corporal Brent Poland and five other members of the Royal Canadian Regiment, 2nd Battalion, based at CFB Gagetown, were killed by an IED while on a mission in Helmand Province near Kandahar, Afghanistan. Corporal Poland grew up in Kemlaki, near the southern shore of Lake Huron, in my riding. Throughout his life, Corporal Poland felt an intense desire to make a difference by serving his country. In a letter home to his family, Corporal Poland wrote, Joining the Army as an infantryman is something that I just needed to do. This Saturday, April 9th, Corporal Poland will be posthumously awarded the Canadian Sacrifice Medal in a special ceremony near his home in southwestern Ontario. The Sacrifice Medal, Mr. Speaker, was developed to commemorate the heroic efforts of Canadian soldiers serving our country on battlefields throughout the world. The colors of the Sacrifice Medal are black, red, and white. They represent grief, spilled blood, and the hope for peace. Mr. Speaker, on the face of the medallion is an effigy of Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada. On the reverse, a representation of the Statue of Canada, which forms part of the Vimy Memorial in France and represents a young nation forever mourning her dead. Mr. Speaker, this weekend, my thoughts and prayers will be with Corporal Poland's parents, Patricia and Don, and their extended family. I hope for the quick and safe return of all Canadian military personnel stationed around the world. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thank you.